This video is brought to you by Monster Insights. I'm going to show you how to properly install a WordPress theme on your WordPress website. And we'll show you two different methods, whether you're doing the free theme from the WordPress repository, or if you've purchased a premium theme and you've downloaded it on your desktop, and now you're trying to figure out how to get it on your website, we'll cover both those methods. Hey everyone, I'm Christina with WP Beginner, where we teach all about WordPress so you can grow your website and reach your audience. So make sure you click on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our tutorials like this one where we go over how to install your theme. The first thing you want to do is let's head over to our website and we're going to log into our dashboard. The easiest way to log into your dashboard is once you type in the address of your website, do forward slash WP dash admin. And that will take you to your login screen where you can log in. And you might want to bookmark that so you have easy access for that. Now from the dashboard, we need to go over to appearance themes so we can work on the theme. Now by default, when WordPress is downloaded and installed for your website, it automatically comes with a default theme. So you already have a default theme installed on your website. And right now at the time of this tutorial, 2020 is the default theme. Use Yours might be a little bit later or you might be a little bit earlier, but you typically will have just one. And you can tell that we just have one because it takes up this whole space and you see current theme and you can come down here and make adjustments. But what we want to do is if you're installing one from the WordPress theme repository, we're going to click add new. And now you have access to all of the thousands of themes that are free or a freemium base, meaning basic elements are free. And then if you want a little bit more whiz bang information, then you can upgrade, but they're all here and they start off by featured. So they're featuring different themes to look at here. You can also go by popular. These are the most popular downloads. You see, these are all the previous themes that were installed in the previous years with WordPress. If you keep scrolling, you also see a few more like the Astros, very popular ocean WP as well. Hello Elementor. So go through and pick the one that you want for your website. If you're not really sure, you can also do a feature filter, meaning if you know what you want your website to do or to have different features, then you can go through and check those off here and apply the filters. And then you'll see some that will be specific to the filters that you have. For this tutorial, I know which one I'm going to install. I want to install the Astra theme. It's just a really easy to use free theme that is a freemium version. So there are some higher things that you can do if you go to the premium, but everything that I want for this will be perfect for this tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and click install. Once it's installed, it's not quite activated. It just means that it's now in my website or on my website, but it's not activated. We can either do a live preview to see what it will look like, or I'm just going to go ahead and activate it now. Great. Once it's activated, we can open it up in a new window. I'm going to right click and open in a new window and you see it has changed. We even see a powered by Astro WordPress theme down here. And you notice it doesn't quite look like what it was supposed to or what I assumed it would look like. And don't worry, we'll cover a couple of tips on how to get your theme on your site to look like the theme in the demo later on in the video. So make sure you stick around for that. The other thing we want to do is once we go back here, if you don't see add new or if you don't see manage themes, then you're likely in wordpress.com. And this tutorial is all about wordpress.org. If you're not sure which one we're talking about, then we have a link in the description below on comparing the wordpress.com and wordpress.org and which one you should choose. The main thing is if you're working in wordpress.com where you have like your site, wordpress.com that you're linked into, then you're limited in the things that you can do for your site. And that's why we'll always recommend working in a wordpress.org where you work with a hosting company like Bluehost or SiteGround and you have complete control over your website. So if you're not seeing that, that's the biggest reason why. But we have this installed. Now, what if you've gone out and you've purchased a premium theme and you've downloaded it to your desktop? Now, how do you get it up here? That's typical if you've gone through like Studio Press or Elegant Themes, maybe Themify, and you've found a theme that you like. Let me walk you through how to do that. For instance, I'm using Studio Press 
and I've downloaded a premium theme called Magazine Pro that I want to upload. I've downloaded it to my desktop. So we just need to go back to our dashboard. Make sure we go back to Appearance, Themes. I'm gonna close this out. And you see, we now have two themes to choose from. This one is the active theme. You can see that by the banner down here. And then this one's on here, but it's not active. But we could choose that if we wanted to. But now we want to upload this one. We need to click Add New again. And instead of searching over here, we've got this button that now turns into Upload Theme, where now we can choose the file. You can also left click, drag it up, or choose file and go find where the theme is, and then we'll upload it. Now, when you get the theme from the account, it will download as a zip. Make sure it stays as a zip. You don't have to rezip it or anything. Simply upload the zipped file that you get from the account. So we're gonna upload this, and we'll want to install it. And while that's installing, another thing I wanna talk about real quick is one of the best ways to find out how your site is doing is by having something on your site like Monster Insights. Monster Insights does a great job of telling you how much traffic your site is getting right in your dashboard, where the traffic is coming from, what your top pages are, what your top refers are, so who's referring your site, whether it's Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, anything like that. Monster Insights connects your site with Google Analytics so you know all the data and make data-driven decisions on your website. To get started with Monster Insights, just head over to monsterinsights.com and make sure you use promo code WPBVIP to get the best discount on Monster Insights. And now let's head back over. Our theme should have been uploaded. For Genesis to work, you also want to upload the Genesis framework. So I've uploaded that as well. And now we see some themes that are available for us. This is the Magazine Pro, and that's the one we just uploaded where we can either live preview it. And let me just show you what this looks like real quick. So you can do a quick live preview of how the site looks. And again, like the other one, it doesn't quite look how we want simply because we need to add some information. But now that's uploaded and now you can activate it to use it on your site. Now we've talked about how it doesn't quite look like the demo site and that's a problem with so many themes. And there's a few ways that you can get around this. First, make sure you look at the documentation of the developer where the theme's at. There should be documentation and step-by-step -step walkthrough on how to get your site to look like the demo site. So look through that, even reach out to the theme developers. If you've purchased it, then you have support from them as well. The next thing you wanna look at is look at themes that might have starter packs or demo content that you can install. And what these do is they'll install all the plugins that you need to make your site look just like the demo site, they'll install some what's called demo content or dummy content to make it look exactly like that. For instance, Astra does something like starter templates that you can use and it involves installing a plugin. If you want, you can watch this video where I go step-by-step -step on how to install a plugin for your website. But for this one, we're just gonna go over to plugins, add new, type in Astra starter template, and this is what we want. So let's go ahead and install and then we'll also want to stick around and activate it like we do with the themes as well. Great, now that we see that here, we can either click on C library or let's go back over to appearance, starter templates. And this is only going to work for the Astra theme if you have that installed. First, they're assuming that you'll probably also have a page builder. You can choose which page builder you're going to choose, you're going to work with. Gutenberg is basically the default WordPress block. So we're going to choose that. And here are all of the starter themes that you can choose from. So go through here and basically find the one that you want your site to look like. This one looks really good. And when you click on it, you see different templates that will come with that and everything. So what you can do is say import complete site. And what it's going to do is make your site look exactly like this demo. So let's go ahead and click import site. It'll give you some information that you might need. Since I've done this before, I'm gonna go ahead and just say delete previous items, import customizer settings. So they're going to import all of the settings that they have that make the site look like that. They're gonna import widgets and they're gonna install some required plugins. If you don't already have any, you can click on the little question mark to see what all it will install. 
And depending on what you have, it'll install maybe a few more like WP Forms Lite, which is a great forms plugin. And then also import some demo or dummy comment content. And we want to do all of that. So let's go ahead and click import and it'll import everything for you. Great. Now we can view the site and I'm actually going to close out here. I want you to see this is what this site did look like. And now when we refresh, the site is set up and that's the way to do it is you want to install a theme and you want it to look exactly how the demo is showing you. So that's one of the easiest ways to do that. And now this is perfect for your site. Make sure you do something like that. And then of course you're going to want to customize it a little bit more. Make sure you watch this video next, the very next one where I walk you through on exactly how to customize your site where you get a starter site and you start from scratch, but you customize it to the look and feel and where we set up logos as well as different areas on your page. Make sure you take a look at that one to see what to do next. And thanks for watching.